All right, so it's Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> this is what I finished yesterday. Now I gotta do the Sith one. Uh, this is only my third embroidery project ever, so can't guarantee how it will come out, but I wanted to do something a little bit artsier for Revenge of the Fifth than what I did for the uh, May the Fourth Be With You. So we will see how this goes. Uh, this is very rough, but I wanted to try to use different textures for the different portions and see how that goes. So I'm going to put this in time lapse and let's get started. So in addition to the um, embroidery project, I wanted to do a special drink for, you know, May the 4th be with you and Revenge of the 5th. I was going to put this in the May the 4th video, but I thought I would have a little bit more time to do it for this one. So during the quarantine period, um, Dalgona coffee was really popular for a while, so the frothy coffee. And I'll put some links in the description to my favorite videos about that, but we're going to be making a version of that that Mike calls Dagoba coffee. So basically, I don't really use the same measurements that are in the videos um, for the Dalgona coffee. So for me, I use a large, you know, normal spoon <laughs> of instant coffee. I like the Nes the Nescafe ones, and then we're gonna do a splash of vanilla syrup. And I need to add sugar in a moment. I do two teaspoons of sugar. In the video I originally watched about making this, it was equal parts sugar and coffee, but to me that ends up too sweet, so I do basically a heaping tablespoon of coffee and two teaspoons of sugar. For me, that's the right measurement. And then I had the kettle going, so we add just a little bit of hot water to dissolve the coffee. And I have my tiny whiskey thing. Now this cup is really narrow at the bottom, so it works really well for this. If you have a wider cup, I end up usually like tilting the cup like this. That works better. And you go until the sound changes and it becomes froth. Right about there, actually. It doesn't take long. So there's the froth. I'm going to just rinse the whisk real quick. So the part that makes this Dagoba coffee is this part. So I have my milk here. I'm adding matcha powder to it. And then probably about a teaspoon. I was just finishing off this sample. Gonna whisk that up. Ideally, this will dissolve in, and then it'll also turn frothy and greenish. If you want it to be more green, you can add food coloring. And this is definitely too much milk. I measured out a cup of milk. Probably half a cup would have been enough. Hopefully, if this works correctly, as the layers separate, yep, there it is, green and brown layers. That's the goal, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. It's a, uh, what do they call it when you have a tea 
latte with coffee. Is that called a dirty latte? I feel like I read that somewhere. I don't know, but this is just kind of a fun thing and definitely frothy. So may the froth be with you. All right, so that finishes up my video series for May the 4th and May the 5th. May the 4th be with you and Revenge of the 5th. Yeah, I mean, they're not perfect, but they are my second and third embroidery projects ever. So for, in that respect, I am reasonably happy with myself. <laughs> so I'm going to probably set up one of my new frames because I got some rectangular frames and work on a floral piece next but I don't know if I'll do that today I kind of need a break <laughs> I will say that this is a particularly relaxing task for me so you'll probably see more videos as I learn new new stitches and figure out what the heck I'm doing but I do really enjoy it so that's nice uh, yeah I mean that's about it. it we have a whole nother year before May the 4th comes around again, and I want to get better before then so I can do something even more complex for next year. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.